Oh, hi guys <laughs> um, let's get into the video so right now I'm showing you guys the wig I already made it glueless so I'm just showing you I add an elastic band and I also add a track in there because you know I'll be adding tracks in my full lace unit I also already tint the lace and did add a little makeup to it so you know it looked fine now I was fitting it I liked it I was like extremely excited because I'm like okay this hair came kind of cute or whatever like I was literally feeling myself like that's cute right <laughs> okay <laughs> okay so I'm looking at it I'm checking it, and I feel like the color needs to like darken a little so I'm about to take off back the wig and I want to color the lace a little. I'm going to add a little darkness and I use black opal and I think I'm using the shade, oh there we go, coral. Yep. <laughs> black opal is like my favorite makeup to use and I use black opal products on all my laces to match my client's skin. So I feel like, oh, that one matched my forehead. So I feel like that one would be okay. But add just the extra darkness to the lace in order for it to blend with my skin better. I'm just kind of showing you all I do it right here so so yeah. So all I do is just rub the um the makeup blender on the lace like pretty easy. I don't let it cake up. I just lightly blend it on the lace itself. And now it's darker you're gonna see how much better it looks like that and now we're ready to do the install Going in with the Gus to be glue, which is turning out to be my favorite right now. I'm just making it all tacky and kind of sticky. And I'm doing this method where I leave the lace on first, only because of how the wig was. 
so you don't have to do it you can do it separate like how i did it with the red wig but i like this way for now when i'm doing a new wig just you can't tell me that i don't look good like look how that look <laughs> yeah <laughs> so this method i'm gonna just continue doing the same thing nothing serious nothing you know too extra and i'm just drying it the freaking blow dryer burn though so just be careful with that Okay, so don't worry about the tip right there. Once I spray it again and tie it down, it will disappear like you'll see. <laughs> so I'm just cutting off the lace as you guys saw before. And I'm just following um, the little curves. And it worked out or whatever. Just start combing out the baby hairs and then I'll be perfectly fine. So as I always say you guys with everything it's all about camouflage all about camouflage a lot of times when you see lace fronts or lace wigs they are not perfect trust me a lot of times you see missing areas it's lace you're seeing in real life so just camouflage and make stuff look good I wanted to do this up style and I had no idea I was going to do it because the back is not glued down or sewed down and I'm only doing a photo shoot so it wasn't a big deal to me. I was just going to put it up and do whatever but I just thought it was a cute style to show you guys anyways but you guys if you want to do it perfect I would recommend either sewing the back down or going the back down. You're not really going to see my back so it's not necessary to like show you back there or go into details but i'm gonna show you back there anyways <laughs> look at those colors you guys like i just felt like so eastery and it was just so cute like i felt so happy <sighs> now i'm just taking off cut off those little long pieces that i already did and i'm making like little flyaways i didn't want baby hairs this time i just wanted like little you know flyaways to make it look kind of bushy So okay you guys well this is it for the video I hope you enjoyed it because I did I'm so happy the color came out the way it did and I'm about to show you guys a little of how the back look it's not perfect it's just like rough <laughs> but it can work with okay so this is it you guys thank you guys for watching Instagram Miss Curl 7.